Good morning, everyone. Today is Monday, October 18th. Right now, I'm going to get my COVID test done for China tomorrow. So I'm super excited. I'm actually finally going to China after all of this time. Uh, but before going, I have a bunch of tests that I need to do. So I'm going to do those today. So not sure <laughs> how painful these are going to be, but let's see. I'm on my way there now. Thank you. I'm vlogging my entire China experience. So. Oh, that'll be fun. <laughs> yeah. Real good experience. All right, I just finished my test. It actually wasn't awful. It wasn't as bad as I expected it to be. It was just a blood test and a nasal swab. So. Unfortunately, I forgot my passport at home, so I have to go all the way back home, get my passport, then come back here to give them the actual passport because they need it for embassy reasons or something. Uh, so I'll be going back 40 minutes to get my passport and then come back here, but it wasn't awful. Um, now I just have some other things that I need to finish today and uh, yeah, just finishing up my preparations for going to China. I don't know if you guys can see this, but the foliage, look at this foliage, like the red, and then over there we got like yellow, like it is so beautiful here, man. It's gorgeous, super, super nice. Oh, there's some orange over there. Wow, I gotta show you guys what that looks like. It's so nice. Just got back my negative COVID test results. So that means I am going to China tonight. Wow, time has flown by so fast, but it's finally time to go. I don't know, I'm feeling a little bit anxious and also very excited right now, probably because these are very unprecedented times that I'm going under. Although I've been to China before and I guess speaking Chinese will be a huge boon for me when I go. But regardless, it is still a bit unnerving. So I'm just gonna have to be faithful, hope that everything goes well, but I am very excited to finally get to China. I've been waiting to go for so long and the time is finally here. I think I have like less than six hours now until my flight leaves at this point, so. It's just a matter of waiting now and hoping that everything goes well at the airport tonight. So I just made it to my gate with relative ease. I was expecting it to be more complicated even in the airport in America, but it wound up being okay. Um, so I'm just sitting here now waiting for my flight to start and yeah, we're about to kick this thing off, I guess. So I'm just gonna relax for a bit. I'm actually pretty tired for some reason. I tried to sleep earlier, but I couldn't really sleep because I was just, I had so much to do. So I'm just gonna kind of relax here, chill for a bit, maybe get a bite to eat. And then I'll be getting on my flight in about an hour. All right, so I'm online now, about to get on my flight. Next stop will be Shanghai, China. What a full circle moment. I have not been to Shanghai in over three, almost three and a half years at this point. So I am so excited to go back and see all my friends and just eat all the good food. Two weeks of intense quarantine is gonna be worth it. Once I'm in Shanghai and definitely once I'm in Beijing. So I'm gonna just soak it all in and hopefully really enjoy this experience. Now I just have to fill out all my information and then I have to go through this COVID testing process when I get off the plane, which I think is going to be kind of long, so. But yeah, I'm finally here. I'm finally here. Just got off the plane 
and now I am waiting in a really long line to do what I assume is COVID testing, nasal swabs and things like that. So who knows how long I'll be here. Wait a moment. A little later. Much later. So I finished doing all of that stuff and now I am waiting with all of my luggage to get to my hotel. I just had to give them my passport and now we're just waiting here and standing here until we figure out which hotel we're going to go to and I'm hoping that I get a decent quality one because apparently some of them are like hourly hotels for working people so hoping that I do not get one of those. <laughs> Just made it to my room guys. I'm finally officially in China. I'm so excited to be here. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna give you guys a little room tour. So I already kind of started settling in and stuff, but okay, over here we have like a nice little nightstand. We got our couch, we got our table. Over here we have our bed. Hey, hello, we have a pretty nice wall mirror over here. Uh, won't be really getting dressed up in quarantine, so this probably will not be going to much use, but anyway. Uh, then we have a nice little working table over here. Uh, a television. Uh, this is the food that they just got me, which I will show you guys in a bit, but uh, they gave me lunch. Also gave me a bunch of water, two whole cases, which is great because I'm super dehydrated. Uh, they gave me a refrigerator, which I'm not gonna be able to use because I don't have anything that's perishable and I can't order takeout either. Um, and here's all my luggage. That's the real one right there. I've had this one since 2012. It's still going strong. Uh, and there's another full body mirror over here, which I'll make some use of this. Then we got a little closet here. I already put my Yurong Fu inside. And here is the bathroom. We have some towels, toilet, and we got the shower right here. And yeah, I don't know what else to say. I'm just really excited to be here. And like, it's just gonna be great. I'm so happy to be finally able to get this experience kicked off. And I just can't wait to see where this journey is gonna take me. Uh, and I hope to keep you with me every step of the way. So without further ado, I am gonna go to bed. I'm gonna take a little nappy nap because I feel like I deserve a little nappy nap. So I'm gonna go to bed, then I gotta get up. I have a presentation to do tonight. And I have a class to take at like 11 o'clock at night, China time or something. So yeah, I need a little nappy nap. So I will catch you guys in a bit. Good morning, everyone. I took a little bit more than a little nappy nap. I actually fell asleep at two o'clock yesterday and I didn't wake up until like almost 11. And that was only because the hotel staff called me and told me that I needed to fill out a form. And I completely missed my presentation yesterday. Almost missed my second class too, but thank God the hotel staff called me like 10 minutes before the class. Uh, Thankfully, I could do the presentation next week, so whew, on that, but all right, we just got our day started here, and I don't know what the heck I'm doing with myself today. I have a bunch of stuff to do. I have an uh, interview that I need to prepare for, which is next week. Uh, I also need to just catch up on some reading, but let's be real. I'm probably just going to lie in the bed for a little while, relax, probably take another nappy nap, and wait for my next meal to come because I'm still tired, and I honestly do not have the energy to do anything right now but be a lazy piece of crap. So, yes. <laughs>
All right, so today's breakfast, they just brought it, looks very good. We got some gan chao niu he with some jian dan, also have some yu mi. And this, I forgot the name of it. I, some type of yu dou zhi ma bing, but it's probably, there's a different word for it, I can't remember. And some shui jiao. <clears throat> and of course, some bai mi zhou. And then I made some tea and some oatmeal from home. Lunch just arrived. So let's see what we have today. All right, so actually looks quite good. Uh, what do we got here? Some beef. We got some tofu and mixed veggies. And this looks like some type of pork. And I'm not exactly sure what this is, but it's some type of vegetable. Hello. Yes, sure. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Today is my Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, fifth day in quarantine. And I'm going to be really honest and say that I have done next to nothing that I wanted to accomplish while I was in quarantine. Absolutely nothing. I've been sleeping at like 2 o'clock every day and waking up at like 11 and then going back to sleep at 3, waking up at 7. That's been my sleep schedule and it's been absolutely awful. So today I'm actually feeling very well rested. I have a class at 9 o'clock so we will see how well rested I feel after that class. <laughs> but. For now, I'm feeling good, so I'm really gonna do a lot of work for my interview prep today, and also uh, do some editing, just do some work that I need to catch up on. Uh, but yeah, I've been saying that for like the past couple days, and it has not happened. But yes, so what has happened in the last five days? Well, I got my COVID test, my first COVID test yesterday since coming here. Uh, wasn't that bad, and didn't hear anything back from it, so I'm assuming that everything is okay. And what else? Uh, I've been sleeping a lot, which is probably good because I was super jet lagged even before I came to China. I was already jet lagged when I was in Seattle. Uh, and yeah, I've just been really just chilling to be completely honest. I haven't really talked to anyone else than my dad, really. Um, but yeah, today I think is going to be a productive day. Don't hold me to that, but I hope it will be. I really hope it will be, uh, but yes. Let's see what we got for breakfast this morning. Though the food in my quarantine hotel was initially very good, it got much worse very quickly. And so, as you can see, I kind of started going through the motions and wasn't really enjoying the food anymore. But thankfully, my friend came and she brought me a bunch of food because I got word that I was able to have one delivery given to me during that period. So she went to the store, got me a bunch of food, and brought it to my hotel, and I have to really give her so much thanks for that. Unfortunately, I wound up eating all of the food in a very short amount of time because I was getting very hungry. The hotel staff was not giving me enough food, and I also had so many things that were due during that period, so I really needed fuel for my body. Eventually, I was just hungry every day, I started feeling lightheaded, and by day 9 or 10, I really started getting concerned about my health. I phoned downstairs to the hotel staff and asked them if they would be able to bring me more food and larger portions. To that, they were very nice, surprisingly, but they only brought me more rice instead of more actual food. So I was eating food that was very high glycemic index, and it was making me very fatigued, very tired. I wasn't able to do as well as I wanted to in my courses, and I wasn't able to focus as much either. And so this led to a general feeling of ennui that I really had going all throughout the last part of my time in quarantine. And I was just really looking forward to leaving during that time. All right, guys, <laughs> like, it is getting really ridiculous now, the type of food that they're giving me. What is this? What is this? <laughs> It's literally a slice of bread, a tiny piece of corn, an egg, and a tiny, tiny vegetable bun. And that's it. A slice of bread? What? Are you kidding me? There's, there's like no nutritional value in this at all except for the egg. Are you got to be kidding me? 
from that period onward, the food continued to get worse and worse, and I was eating less and less each day. I really was not having a great time during quarantine at all. At first, it started off as a wonderful experience where I was able to have some personal time to work on personal projects and to do a bit of introspection. But after about 10 days, 11 days, I was really having a lot of issues staying focused and I just wanted to get outside. As you can see, the food was not great. It smelled awful. The seasonings that were used were atrocious and there were many times when the food that I was given was so bad that I couldn't eat it and I just ate rice for dinner. So I was not having a great time. One of the few things that kept me going during that period of time was knowing that I was going to be released very soon with all of the essays, the deluge of assignments and other things that I had on my plate and also feeling lightheaded every single day. I really began to feel a sense of sadness and just longing to go outside and see people and eat real food. And I hate to belabor the point, but the food in my quarantine hotel was atrocious. Eventually, the day that I was set to leave arrived and oh, what a glorious day that was. Ah, I made it. Today is my last day in quarantine. I should be leaving here in like the next hour or so and I am so happy to be leaving. Oh my god, I can't even, I cannot even express in the English lexicon how happy I am to be leaving. I'm finally going to get to eat some real food. I'm finally going to get to go outside, meet people, see some of my old friends, connect with some of my classmates from this cohort and uh, most importantly, I will not be subjected to eating this food any more so i am so excited for that and this morning my health code turned green which don't think i explained this before but uh when you come to uh, your quarantine city you have to get a health code and when you first sign up for it it's red then it turns yellow and then it turns green and if it doesn't turn green then you have to go to like another hotel and the process is like super super complicated and all of these things and I actually didn't get my SIM card until yesterday so I just did this yesterday actually but I am happy to say that my code is green so that means I can go right to the other hotel today and I can just put all my stuff down work on my stuff and I am free to explore Shanghai though I don't think I'm being gonna be able to explore until tomorrow because I have so much work to do today. I have a presentation, I have an essay that's due today, I also have two classes and I have an essay that's due tomorrow. But I am super excited just to be able to order food and to eat properly, to eat healthier and just to get this thing started. So this has been by far the most arduous two weeks of this year, but I'm happy to say that I made it through. So, yeah, this is just this is just great. So I'm just waiting for them to come bring me my documents and bring me everything that I need to get ready to leave. And for now, I'm just going to eat my last breakfast here, which oh, that feels so good to say. But I'm gonna just eat my last breakfast here and then finish tidying up a bit and then head on out. Okay, so this is my first time being outside in 15 days and boy does it feel good just getting some fresh air and just being out here. It just feels so good. So now I'm just waiting for my cab to come and it's going to take me to my next hotel and then once I'm there things should hopefully get a little bit easier. So we will see. I made it outside guys. I'm actually in the world for the first time in over two weeks. This feels so good. Oh my god. Let me get inside this hotel. I finally made it to my second hotel and I can go outside. Oh my god. I am so happy to be here. 
I'm so happy to be here. I'm gonna go and meet one of my other classmates right now and we are about to go get some food and I'm really looking forward to this. Oh man, it is just great. It's just, it's just great. I'm so happy right now, I'm so happy. I got here, I mean, the room is a little bit small. I'll do a little room tour when I come back from eating, but I don't even care. I'm just happy that I'm out of that other hotel, can actually eat the food I wanna eat now. And I feel like the China experience is really gonna start from now. So let's go get some food.